firearms. This motion is deemed adopted. It's a bill long promised on the campaign trail and nearly a year ago after a gunman killed 22 people and scarred Nova Scotia. In the wake of that mass shooting, the Liberals restricted 1,500 models of assault-style weapons. Today, confirmation of a buyback program for owners of those guns, but few details on how much Ottawa will pay, only that the option will be voluntary. The measures we're proposing are concrete and practical. The Liberals leaning into the fact that those who choose to keep their guns will have to follow strict rules. Can't take them to a range. Can't even drive around with them. They've got to be locked up in a safe. And then we have rendered it virtually useless as a firearm through the law. And, and as a consequence, we believe the vast majority of rational firearm owners will choose to surrender them. A belief not everybody shares, with the Bloc Québécois scoffing at the government not forcing owners to turn in their guns. Which makes the law under many regards, useless. And the Conservatives insisting the legislation completely misses the point. Mr. Trudeau misleads people when he tries to suggest that that buying things back from hunters and and other Canadians who are law-abiding is somehow going to solve the problem of of shooting and criminal gang activity in the the big cities. The Liberals, in trying to please gun owners and gun control activists, have ended up displeasing both. It's a bad situation for a lot of people who haven't done anything to do to deserve it. I heard a lot of window dressing, a lot of slogans. We've sacrificed enough. And, um, you know, if the Liberal government doesn't uh, come through now, um, when will it ever? With the politics on the issue so deeply entrenched, the Liberals are also not choosing the complicated path of a national handgun ban, instead leaving that up to cities backed by federal penalties. But such a ban could be blocked by any province that doesn't want it. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Ottawa.